When do we get out? Just, just want you to beat this and then get out. <laughs> okay. Can. Making sure each officer is on the job if they need help, I aid them. Place a lot of paperwork, bylaws, keeping up with advisors, coordinating national stuff, and making sure the chapter is in good standing with the university, with the state, and with the national fraternity. Oops, what do you think I'll you up Cause she was a true one. <laughs> In APO, I found a lot of things. Uh, I found great friends, greater like mentors, advisors. Um, it opened up a lot of doors for future jobs, and it just I've had so much such a good time since I joined in college that I wanted it to improve and to be better, and I wanted it, I wanted it to keep going for coming people and pledges, and I just thought if I was ahead of it, I could switch some things around. Talking about, I'll never ever find a man like you! <laughs> Time commitment, like how many hours per week? It's tied down. I feel like the first semester when I was adjusting to position, it was like maybe like 10, 15 throughout the week, not counting meetings. If you count meetings, maybe 20. Now that how it's tied down, um, counting meetings, probably like a few. I don't know, seven, six. I know what the job mostly consists of, but, so yeah. Everything you know in the box to left. To left, don't you ever for a second get to thinking. Irreplaceable. You must not know about me. You, you must not know, know about me. Do you have anyone working under you? Technically, yes. I do have a steering committee. Um, they're supposed to check on the direction the chapter's heading, and if we stray away from our mission they basically like got me back in on the bylaws committee of a girl scout committee and this is for you this is mine oh I baby you I got me like oh I love when you fall apart so you can put me together and throw me against the wall management patience like caps lock patience like you need a lot of patience to be able to deal with uh certain stuff oh, thrown your way you also need to be stern and gotta put your foot down time management if you're organized and if uh if you have dedication and passion for the chapter you'll be fine for this position baby you got me like oh. Don't you stop loving me, don't quit loving me, just start loving me. Why did you join APO in the first place? Well, funny story. So, um, it was, I was always involved in high school, and then when I went to college, it was like I had nothing to do with my time except to study, and I don't want to study. So, uh, I emailed, I was looking up at all the orgs, and there was only one that still had like, uh, the rush period opened so I emailed um, APO and I was like hey I would like to join and they sent me like a list of their dates and I showed up on a Sunday which turned out not to be an informational it was an actual like 
join, chance to join. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, people are, I mean, when they first yelled, I was like, I'm out of here, like, mom. Because, you know, when you first walk in, it gets really scary because everyone's yelling like mad people. But then I started liking it and I just stuck around. So, by accident, I. No matter what I do, I'm no good without you and I can't get enough. in the chapter you need at least a 2.0 gpa there should be some kind of like history in the chapters your involvement should be a little higher but in reality that's all the that you have to do it, it, it would be nice if you had like previous exposure to exec just because you see the way things are around i usually is a hot dog a sandwich am i a pledge why are we asking some questions what is your name major and classification so uh my name is lauren wadman i and then Recreation, Parks, and Tourism Sciences major, RPTS for short, um, and I am a senior. I'll be graduating in May. I said you love my friends, but the answer is no. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? What is your job title or responsibility? Um, so I'm Vice President of Service, and basically I'm in charge of all of our service projects. And we're a service fraternity, so that's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I joined APO and then I realized that they had, there was a service position and I really liked it in high school so then I, I was the chairs under the VPS and then I really liked it so then I ran and I got elected and here I am. So you will never get your best until the day I die to love my friend. No still means no. Why you gotta be so rude? What is the time commitment? Like hours per week? Um, so I was VPS last semester too and last semester it was a lot more because I didn't know what I was doing. But this semester I got it down, so I'd say starting out it's probably 15, 20 hours a week. It's a lot of emailing and communicating with outside people, but then once the semester goes on, and then like this semester for me, because I already had it, it's probably between 5 and 10 hours a week, depending on what's happening. But. You get the best of both worlds, chill it out, take it slow, then you rock out the show, you get the best. Both Do you have anyone working under you? Yes, yeah, so I have a committee of about 20 people under me, and so the way it works is there's project chairs, and so they're each in charge of something, and then I have BPSAs, which are assistants who are over projects, they have chain of command, but I have about 20 people under me. Oh, that's great. And I have environmental chairs too, that do recycling and stuff. Loopy promise. Until I pledged. 
last year and that was really fun. Friday night. Friday night is I like Friday night. So last year I was a zombie and I literally just screamed at people for like six hours. It's really fun. I miss Cindy super nice. She's the lady that runs it. Okay. Watch your haters wonder why can't 